Hey YouTube friends! Today we have a video all about the Araptas. Whether you've been for the millionth time or if this is going to be your very first time, there's some valuable advice in this video. What advice would you give to first time Araptas goers? I think the most important thing is to come out and attack. Um, whether you're a prelim, a trad set, or somebody in open, I think that attacking that first round is most important and in class I always try to work with the prelims because you know it's a, it's the first round you want to make a great impression and sometimes in these big groups that's what the judges are looking for is a great first round so for me that's the most important for trad set people just come out and, and attack it and own it whether you're doing um, you know St. Patrick's Day all the way up to garden um, just come out and attack and be yourself and always have a smile. My advice was confidence you gotta go out on stage like you know, there's no tomorrow, and that this is the only competition. You need to see the focus on this one competition. It doesn't matter what you did before, it doesn't matter what you do after, just right there. And it's my dive shirt and also have fun. Like, it's not easy if you don't have fun with it. True. What about you, Kara? Do your best. <laughs> don't just breathe and enjoy the experience of it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Bye. No problem. My advice. My advice is to uh, not overthink it um, and just go with the flow and practice a few times beforehand and and then just dance your best. My advice is to ignore, ignore the other people so that you can focus on your own dance and not do what they're doing. <laughs> Alright, thanks guys. Thank you. Bye. Don't be too stressed out about it because then might mess up, but just be calm and treat it like it's just a normal fish. Um, uh, make sure like that you're, uh, you you don't get like super worried or anything like, cause um, like the same thing what she said, like don't like do that because what can happen is you just you go on stage and then then you could forget your dance because you're so nervous. So, yeah. So my advice is to just focus on what you're doing and uh, make sure you're dancing well and Courtney, just make sure your directions are running through your mind. Um, mine's kind of what Colleen said. Um, do your best. Make sure you think about your corrections. Thank you, guys. Adios. Okay, what advice do you have for newer rock just dancers? Um, to dance their best. Alright, so for first timers, I would definitely say to just go out there and have fun. You're as prepared as you're going to be, so just don't overthink it. Have a great time. You're with your friends, you're with your family, so just have a good one. Um, to make sure that your shoulders are pulled back, to smile, and just to focus on what you're doing. Um, to always believe in yourself and to practice really hard and to try your best no matter what. <laughs> what advice do you have for new Arachnus dancers? Um, to have fun and dance your best. As a teacher, my biggest piece of advice um, for this Arachnus season is to keep it all in perspective. This is one day, and it doesn't define your entire dance career as a whole. Um, picture that you are running a marathon this marathon is your lifetime dance career. Whether it's 10 years, 20 years, five years, whatever it is, that is your marathon. And to hold all of your self-worth or your talent or what you think you can achieve in the sport based on one Arachnus day would be like measuring your entire marathon based on one mile marker. I'm sure everyone knows that when you run a marathon, your time when you hit the first mile marker does not indicate your placement or rank when you get to the finish line. So keep it all in perspective. It is all relative. My second piece of advice is to avoid carrying other people's expectations. I think it's really easy to get caught up in how other people will feel about your placement, what you might be feeling like you're letting people down if you don't 
um, achieve what you set out to, or you might feel like you owe it to someone to place a certain placement, but it's, it's best for you and your game to let go of those expectations. I think a lot of the older dancers maybe feel like the younger ones are looking up to them or they've told their friends that they want to, you know, qualify for something or place in the top certain number of their competition and that people are somehow going to be upset or disappointed or devalue them because of the placement that they get on the day. And it's just not true. Your own, um, you know, disappointment in not making your goal is, is hard enough. And no one, you know, your teacher, your friends, your classmates, your parents is going to look down on you for not making a certain goal. Or if they do, you need to find some new friends. And my final piece of advice as a teacher is to feel confident in the preparation that you've done. Just like when you have a big test coming up, if you've studied, you might be a little bit nervous, but you can also be confident in knowing that you've studied and that you know the material. And this isn't really any different. If you have prepared and done everything that you can do, then you can feel confident in putting that out on the stage. Um, and trying to keep in a zone and not getting in your own head and second guessing yourself and doubting yourself um, will really help your performance. Watching my spirit buddy. Cool. What are you most excited about? Um, friends. Did you say trad set? No, friends. Oh, friends. Michael, what are you most excited about? Uh, yeah, dancing with his friends. Just the experience. The experience, that's good. Did Tara ask you? Uh, just dancing. Yeah, just dancing? Yeah. What are you most excited about? Um, teams. Teams? Ah. Why teams? Um, because um, I'm most excited about doing the eight hands. I'm excited about um, doing my trad set because I think this one will be a good one for me. I'm excited to dance in my new dress that I just got. Um, teams because it's the first time. What are you most excited about? Um, I'd have to say traditional set because I haven't done it for like two years. So, better off just I hope you guys have found this helpful. Um, I really hope that if you haven't had your Arachas already, that you achieve your goals and we wish you the very best of luck. If you've already had your Arachas and you're feeling great, congratulations. If you didn't meet your goal and you're a little bit disappointed, remember, it's all relative. Keep it in perspective and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the video before you leave. We have some major news coming and you don't want to miss it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Lindsay. Lindsay. Shh. Lindsay, I'm not going to get her to say it more than once, so I need everybody to be quiet. Lindsay, <laughs> what advice do you have for new Iraqis dancers? <laughs>